Many people have made their first steps in the Linux world by installing Ubuntu, probably the most popular Linux distribution. In our previous videos, we have already described how to install Ubuntu step by step. In this video, we will show you how to set up Ubuntu for an average user, so stay tuned. You've just installed Ubuntu and now you're wondering what to do next. If you are new to Linux, nothing looks familiar, starting with the look and feel of the system. Ubuntu is designed to work flawlessly out of the box. Still, there are some essential things you can do to set it up for yourself. The very first thing you need to do in a Linux-based operating system upon installation is to update the system so that you are up to date with the latest security patches or system updates. In Ubuntu, the easiest way to update the system is by pressing your super key and starting the update application. Let the updater do its thing and then press the Install Now button. Then the software updater will download and install all available updates. After the update process is finished, the system will warn you that the computer needs to restart to finish installing updates. Now that you have the updated system, the next thing to do is to install Microsoft Core fonts so that you can share your documents and collaborate with other people. Ubuntu by default does not come with MS Core fonts pre-installed, as you can see here in its default LibreOffice suite. That means that you don't have fonts like Arial or Times New Roman pre-installed. To solve the issue, you need to start the terminal app and just type in a simple command sudo apt install ttf -fonts installer The system will ask you for your administrative password. Just type it in and no asterisks will appear because that's the default behavior in Ubuntu and then Press Enter on your keyboard, then press Y on your keyboard, and then use your tab key to agree to the end user license agreement. And that's it. Usually, we then log out and then log in back to the system for changes to take effect. Now, after logging back in, we'll open LibreOffice Writer, and as you can see, we have MS Fonts at our disposal. We open the Writer's Options window and choose Arial as the default font. While we are there, we will also change the traditional Writer layout to the modern one. Go to View, click User Interface and choose the Tabbed Interface. Now you have a much more familiar writing environment. If you use your Ubuntu system for work, then you might need weather information from time to time. In Ubuntu 22.10, which is the latest version of the system as of the time of recording the video, the weather app is not pre-installed, so you need to add it to the system on your own. Open the software app by clicking its icon in the left-hand side dock and type in weather in the search bar. Many apps are offered, however, you'll choose the default one. The application is offered both from the Snap platform and the official Ubuntu repositories. We usually choose the latter option. Hit the Install button, type in your administrative password and the weather app will be installed. Now the weather app is there and you need to set it up. All you need to do is type in your location and you'll get your local weather information regularly.
Ubuntu comes with quite a few apps pre-installed, but still, it's just basics and most probably you need more applications for your work. To install an app, you need to open your Ubuntu software app, which offers loads of applications grouped into categories. If you are looking for your specific app, just type in its name in the search box and hit enter on your keyboard. For the video, we searched the VLC Media Player app. By default, it's offered as an app from the Snap platform, but we prefer the one from the Ubuntu repositories. Just press the install button and that's it basically. After the application is installed, you can start it by searching for it in the Ubuntu search bar and pressing the enter key. You can also press the grid on the lower left hand side of the screen and find the app icon in the on-screen application launcher. Some apps you might be looking for cannot be found in the Ubuntu software app. As we have already mentioned, Ubuntu offers thousands of apps in the software store, both as snaps and as .deb ones from the repositories, as is the case here, for instance, with the Audacity Audio Editor. Linux distros in general prefer free and open source applications, so for instance, you'll find Chromium web browser in the software store, but not Google's Chrome browser. However, you can install Chrome in Ubuntu. You just need to download the installation file from the official website and install it by double-clicking the installation file, which will then be installed via the official software store. Now you might find some apps that are pre-installed in Ubuntu surplus to your requirements. Like for instance, if you don't feel like playing a Sudoku game on your computer. If you want to uninstall it, again you need to open the software app and search for it. Then you'll find the one that is marked as installed. Click on it and then click to uninstall it. And that's it. Sudoku is not in your app grid anymore. Ubuntu 22.10's default wallpaper has been praised on forums, but still, it might not suit everybody's tastes. So, if you're not a fan of it, you might want to change it. Right-click the desktop and click the option to change the desktop background in the drop-down menu. Ubuntu offers several wallpapers to choose from. You can do it in another way, by starting the app grid and typing in Appearance in the Ubuntu search bar. Hit the Enter button on your keyboard and you'll again open the Appearance section of the Ubuntu Settings app. Here's one of the desktop backgrounds on offer. You might also want to change the default desktop color in Ubuntu. Orange is the default one, and in the newer versions of Ubuntu, you can change that in the Appearance section of the Settings app. There are 10 colors to choose from. For the video, let's try a shade of green, and this is what it looks like. Let's go back to the default one. By default, Ubuntu comes with the light desktop mode. As you can see here, the file manager and the writer app are in light mode. Now you can directly change that by clicking the menu in the system tray area and choosing dark mode. And it is instantly applied. Or you can again open the settings app and there in the appearance section you can choose the dark desktop mode if you like. The dark on the left hand side of the screen has become Ubuntu's trademark. Still, if you don't like it there, Ubuntu has provided a way to change it. 
open the settings application. Go to the Ubuntu desktop section and you will find the dock setting there. The dock can be positioned left, right or at the bottom of the screen. You can also turn off the panel mode if you like and make it look maybe more familiar. For the video, let's go back again to the defaults. Additionally, you can add your favorite apps to the dock. Just open the full screen app grid, find your desired application and then add it to the dock by right clicking it and choosing the appropriate option. To remove the item from the dock, you simply need to right click it and unpin it from the dock. A thing you might find annoying in vanilla Ubuntu is that you can't minimize open apps by clicking their icons in the dock. To minimize an app, you need to click the appropriate button in the applications window, the title bar. To enable the minimize on click behavior, open the terminal app and simply enter a simple command that we will leave in the description below the video. The change is instant. In Ubuntu's latest version, as of the time of recording the video, the desktop icons are positioned in the lower right-hand corner of the screen by default. As you can see here, is the case with the home folder icon. Of course, you can change that to a more familiar behavior. Open the settings app and choose the position of new icons on the desktop. You can put them back on the upper left-hand side of the screen. For the video, we will make a new folder on the desktop and it will be automatically placed where we ordered it. And that's it. As an example, this is our Ubuntu setup after all the basic customizations that we've done. Note how we added the weather app, changed the dock, the Ubuntu theme color and the wallpaper, and changed the desktop mode to the dark one. We've added the apps we need, and our Ubuntu setup now works and looks the way we want it. We hope you've liked the video. Is there anything else that you would recommend beginners do with their Ubuntu setups? Tell us in the comment section of the video down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.